Hi Adam, it's Miles. Uh, here is the machine I was telling you about. This is the actual machine you just bought. The Konica Minolta Bits of C224E multifunction color copier, network printer, and scanner. I had my service tech uh, install the saddle stitch finisher, uh, as you can see right here. This is the, the finisher that the machine came with. This is your regular stapling finisher. We upgraded you to the booklet maker, which I'll show you. Uh, I'll talk about it more in detail in just a second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with showing you the meter count on this machine. This machine's brand new. The meter count on this machine is only 178 copies. 46 of it was done in black and white and 132 in color. Here is the serial number of the machine. I'm going to go ahead and show you the consumables, which everything on this machine is brand new. You can see the developers are all 99%, all brand new. Your imaging units, which are your drum units, uh, all brand new. Oops, let me go ahead and, there you go, 99% on all of them. Going to go to the next page. Here is your fuser unit, 99%. Transfer roller, 99. Transfer belt, 99. Ozone, 99. Everything's, it, the machine's brand new. Um, let's go ahead and uh, make an internal copy so you can see the quality of this machine. This machine is very, very clean all the way around. I'll walk around the machine in just a second. It's got a nice, uh, robust document feeder that scans at 70 pages per minute, which is pretty fast. Okay, here we go. Here is, as you can see, very, very clean from darkest to lightest. Let me go ahead and, okay, I think we get a better angle there. From darkest to lightest, very, very clean. Let me get some better light on this. So there you have it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test the document feeder. Put it on the document feeder face up. This time I'm just going to make black and white copies so we don't use any... Um, we don't waste any more toner on it. I'm going to go to the main screen. I'm going to make one copy. You can make as many copies as you want here. Um, it's set at one, so I'm going to leave it at one. Pretty fast document feeder on that. One of the nice things that I just found out about this uh, booklet making finisher is not only does it make books, but it uh, also trifolds, which is very nice. I'll show you that in just a second. There you go. There is the uh, black copy. Very clean. Both pages. Oops. There you go. Very, very clean. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the trifold, which is a nice feature. It's usually an option, but I just learned that on this new model, it comes standard with all the booklet uh, finishers which is very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the finishing tab and I'm going to hit uh, the fold button and I'm going to do a trifold. And I'm just going to hit OK. I'm just going to make one copy. We got to hit OK one more time. Just going to make one copy. So what this does, it scans your image. Uh, you can also do this from the computer once you have it networked. Um, you either could do it through the copy machine or through the printer. Through the drivers will have all these options available on it. Uh, so what it does, it takes it into the finisher, brings it all the way down. It folds it in three parts and it'll shoot it right out in the bottom here in just a second. Which is very nice. Okay, here you go. So now, as you can see, you have a trifold. Of course, I just did one page, but if you could, you can do up to, I believe, 15 or 20 pages, or probably even more. Um, so it's very, very nice. So you got your trifle there. Now we're going to do the booklet. Let's go ahead and uh, test the. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to test the booklet. So let's say you have. Say you wanted to make this, but you wanted to turn this. Let me go ahead and organize this paper a little better here. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. 
Always make sure you put everything face up on the doctor and feeder and the tab they're touching. So now we're going to turn this into a little booklet and, and staple it in the center. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit the finishing button. We're going to hit the fold and blind. And we're going to do center staple and fold. Okay. 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 So what I'm doing on this demonstration, I'm taking four sheets of paper and I'm going to scan both sides of it. As you can see, the paper is it's uh, reversing, so I can scan both sides. It's called the reverse document feeder, which is a very nice feature to have. So I'll scan both sides. And then what I'll do, is I'll, go, I'll go ahead and uh, make a copy of it. I'll take page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, put it in a booklet and then staple it in a center. And when you're done, you're going to get a nice, clean booklet. Very nice to have. A lot of print shops order these type of finishers. This finisher, by the way, uh, I actually was looking at the retail price and it's more than I thought. It's close to $3,000 for this, this booklet saddle stitch finisher because it actually comes with a trifold on it as well. So it's very, very nice. So when you're done, you now have this nice little book with all the pages. Some of them are going to be blank, of course, because I did the other side. But you get the picture. There you go, and it uh, it's stapled in the center, so you have a booklet. So there you have it. Very, very nice. Very nice feature to have. So I went ahead and uh, took all these sheets that I did here, and I put it into the booklet. So you could also do this with 11 by 17, which will now fold it into uh, uh, booklets that are going to be this size. So you open it like an actual book. Very, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and walk around this machine. I'll show you a little more in detail of this machine. As you can see, this machine is very, very clean. It's got a very beautiful display. Uh, it's actually still have the protective plastic here, so when you get it, just grab this paper and peel it out. So it's never been peeled off, so I'm just going to leave it there. It's very nice. It feels like you're using a tablet. Very, very nice, responsive, soft touch display. So here's the front of the machine. Let me get some... Here's the front of the machine. Here is the left side of the machine, which is a booklet finisher. Let me walk here. Okay, here is the back of the machine. Uh, all the books are still in its plastic, hasn't even been opened. Here's the cover. And this also comes with a decorative cover here, which we have right here. Let me go ahead and get this. So this, when you get it, you just put this back in there, just pops in there, just makes it nice and clean. You don't have to have it in there, but you can. So here's the back of the machine. Very clean. And here's the right side of the machine if you're standing in front of it. Very, very clean. You got your bypass here. There's your bypass. And here's the side door. Here is your fuser. There is, a, if you ever get any paper jams, which isn't going to be anytime soon. It's going to be in this area when all the rollers are worn out, so you'll clear it from here. Uh, as you can see, all the gears, everything's brand new. This thing's fresh, clean. Here is your fuser, and here's the side door. And you got uh, your, this is where you will install your toner. Uh, this is your waste toner bottle. This is your, it's still packed, it's still got the packing tape on it. This is what you will clean your laser unit. Uh, you'll, you'll remove this and you'll just slide it in there. I'll show you how to do it, but you don't have to do this for a very, very long time. So um, that's the front door. Here's your paper cassette, universal paper size, up to 11 by 17 on the first cassette. And then on the second cassette, you can go up to 12 by 18. So if you're doing any uh, full bleed 11 by 17, you'll run it in 12 by 18 and just cut it. So it's very nice. Um, universal paper side, ladder, legal, ledger. And then you got your cabinet door. In fact, here is another one of those covers. We'll leave it in there. And there you have it. So um, let me go ahead and close this door. This is the machine, like I said, that you just purchased. And um, I'm, I know you're going to enjoy this machine. It's very, it's, to me, it's the best color machine in the industry. As you can see, we sell them all. We have a uh, Rico there. 
We have Kerasera there, another Konica there, Toshiba. We got sharps in the back there, which you, I don't know if you can see it. Here's a sharp machine, another Toshiba, more sharps in the back. Toshiba is there, more Konica is here, another Toshiba. So we sell them all, and um, this is actually the best machine in the industry. So any questions, uh, go ahead and give me a call anytime, and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.